Lost but now found after more than four decades, a local woman is reunited with a piece of jewelry she never thought she'd see again. Her class ring, lost down the shore, recently showed up in the mail. Our Joe Holden has the story from Springfield, Delaware County. I always loved this ring. I did. A piece of her past long gone, or so she thought, never forgotten. It showed up 42 years later. It was the summer of 75, and Peggy D. Francesco says she removed her loose fitting Cardinal O'Hara class ring. I laid it on my towel and went into the ocean. We were at uh, 47th Street in Sea Isle on the beach. That was the last time she saw it until this week. A message was sent to her Facebook account. And it was from this gentleman, BJ Hogan, who said, asked me if I was Peggy D. Francesco from the class of 75, and I said I was. He goes, well, we found your ring. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> There's no way. This is B.J. Hogan. First thing I did was go to social media and looked her up on Facebook. The director of alumni relations and football coach at O'Hara said weeks ago this unassuming envelope arrived. Opened it up and... There was just, there was no note, there was nothing in there, it was just a class ring. For Peggy, a Haverford High teacher, the ring was so special, she thought about having it remade. And I really thought, toyed with the idea of, of purchasing it. My parents bought this for me, and, and back then, $50 for a ring was a lot of money. The ring brought back fond memories of good times. I think because I loved high school so much, and had such a good time, and I really did have too much fun, but <laughs> that's another story. And now the mystery persists. Peggy says she wrote a thank you note to the return address the ring came from. The mystery is like 42 years. Where was this ring? I wish I knew the story. I really do. I want this story. We did stop by the home listed at that return address in Sellersville. A man who came to the door declined the comment and told us he really did not want to talk about the story. So the intrigue goes on. In Springfield Township, outside Cardinal O'Hara, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.